morning you guys welcome back to another vlog it's monday today and i'm just about to get ready to go to the gym i'm not doing my full skincare but i'm gonna put on a little bit of sunscreen and then i'm gonna get changed i'm going to eos today because i'm doing a leg day workout which i always do on mondays and i wanted to film it and bring you guys along for it i was at the gym on saturday and i completely forgot to bring a hair tie i thought i had one in my gym bag so i just left and like didn't put my hair up and then when i got to the gym i didn't have one in my car or in my bag and i was like dang it because i hate working out with my hair down today i was like okay i need to be better about like putting my hair up and getting fully ready before i leave because that was super annoying especially because my hair is like getting longer and then I get like sweaty and it really gets in the way I also washed my hair yesterday so I have like clean curls which is really nice I had um, a lot of time in the morning because it was just a really chill weekend for me Brandon and I like hung out and we had breakfast both mornings and we like watched shows and it was just really nice I like meal prepped some food for the week which I did that at Brandon's but it was just nice to relax this weekend and like not really do a whole lot so I'm feeling super like refreshed and just like ready for the week ahead today I'm gonna wear this Gymshark set that I got I haven't worn it for a little while but it's these shorts and I love this chocolate brown color and then I'm gonna do it with this long sleeve it's actually so cute it's really cold out so this is like a good set to wear for today and I like that it has the holes for your thumbs but I got both pieces in an extra small I love the long sleeve and the fact that it just like helps me stay warm super comfy Gymshark stuff is like really good I obviously love wearing like all the Lululemon but this is like one of my other favorites and I started wearing it all because of Whitney Simmons she like inspires me so much and I love all of her content so I'm gonna make a matcha before I leave I don't drink pre-workout so I just want to have like some sort of caffeine before my workout I like to get like a little bit of energy and I love having matcha or coffee I don't drink either of those right when I wake up in the morning just because I like to give myself some time but right before the workout is perfect like to make it and then bring it in the car so I can drink it while I'm driving there that's like been my new favorite thing so I'm gonna make a matcha really quick I ordered both of these from peak this is their sun goddess matcha packets and these are my literal favorite matcha packets and then I also got their BT fountain deep hydration packets and these are so good I've been including both of them as part of my daily routine and I did want to thank peak for sponsoring the video today I'm gonna make my matcha with the packet right now and i'll show you guys how i do it so i'm just gonna start with frothing a little bit of oat milk i add some into my milk frother i'm just gonna use the rest of this and then I'll do a little bit of cinnamon and i'm gonna make an iced matcha so the one thing i love about this frother is that you can do it cold so we'll let that go and then i just heated up a bowl of hot water so i'm going to take one of the packets and then just pour this right into here and just start whisking it up i pour the frothed milk in and then i like to add 
matcha. Kind of did all the ice. There's a little bit more froth milk in here. And then I'm just gonna add a splash of maple syrup for a little sweetness. The matcha is so good. I have to try to drink it slowly so that I can enjoy it for a while, but I can literally down it because I love it. But I ordered the matcha packets and the hydration packets in December. So I've been including both of these for quite a while now. And the matcha packets I actually got a restock on because I've had these or I've been drinking these for, I don't even know, like forever. They are amazing. I think the first time I got them was like before I moved to Vegas. So like a super long time ago. They have really good benefits and they're both so great for your skin. I have noticed a lot of good things with my skin from using them. I have just always dealt with really dry skin and my skin looking kind of dull, but since I've been including these, they both have really helped with just making it look a lot more glowy. The matcha packets have chlorophyll in them, which is good for um, like skin clarity. And then they're also, high in antioxidants which is good for just like brightening up your skin complexion <laughs> my ice maker is always so loud i try to um, incorporate them daily the matcha i will do in the morning if i um, am not doing coffee or i'll drink it in the afternoon as like a midday pick me up and then for the hydration packets i like to have those like later in the afternoon for a hydration boost or maybe in the evening it kind of just depends they're both just like so good and the hydration ones have like a berry flavor so they taste really yummy but but I wanted to let you guys know that you can get 15% off plus free shipping for life on your Peak Radiant Skin Duo. And you'll also get a complimentary beaker and frother on your order. So definitely make sure to try them out. I think you will really like them. So I'll have it all linked in my description box. So you can click it there and head over to Peak's website and place your order. But so good. I love the matcha and I just could not recommend it enough. All right, we're headed out. I wanted to show you guys my outfit this is the gymshark fleece and i wear this all the time and then i just put on these black sweats which are from amazon they're like the men's hanes ones and or maybe they're gilded i can't remember i'll link them for you guys but they're super cheap and they're just like a good throw to put on it's so windy today and i just like always want to wear warm stuff when i'm walking into the gym so i put this over my set and then i have these ugg slippers on but that's because my air forces are in the car so i'm not actually working out in those i just need to put them on i'm literally at the gas station filling up which is my least favorite errand and it is so cold out because it's blowing like crazy but i'm gonna eat one of these mush oats these are my favorite to eat on the way like to anything they're just so nice and convenient but this one is in vanilla bean which is the best flavor in my opinion workout is officially done and my hair looks insane now because I ended it with the Stairmaster so it's getting a little bit sweaty. I went on there for 15 minutes and I just walked on a level 8. I used to be obsessed with the Stairmaster when I was in college and lately I've just been liking warming up or cooling down on there. I like to mostly cool down and then warm up on the treadmill or the bike. It was a good workout today and I feel really good. The only thing though I wanted to ask you guys about was do you have any tips for um, the hip thrust? Because my hip bones are hurting so bad. They're really bruised and I just, I don't know, I feel so sore right there. So I want to get like a pad or I don't know, something to put on my hips. I was literally using my sweatpants for the last 
couple sets I like folded them up and put it right there for like extra padding because I just really needed it but I really focused on trying to keep my head down when I was deadlifting because that has been really hard for me I always want to look up and like look in the mirror and watch myself but then the form is wrong and I know that's like not good for like your back so I appreciate when you guys like give me suggestions and you like coach me kind of because I'm obviously still learning and when Brandon comes with me he's really good about like reminding me but then when I'm by myself I forget so I definitely am just trying to be like more mindful of all of that but I need to go home I should have filled up my water before I left because I barely have any <laughs> I just made my post-workout protein drink. I do one scoop of the Ritual Protein in a shaker with some water and I just mix it up. And then I stopped by Sprouts on the way home because I needed to pick up a couple of things. I have avocados, but they're still really green, so I can't eat these yet. I love that they have a ripe section, so I just picked two that I can eat right away. And then I also got more of the Everything Bagel Seasoning and the Oat Malk Milk because I drank the rest of that this morning. And I picked up another bag of the Seeds and Grains Little Northern Bakehouse Bread. Also got some salmon because I was craving that for dinner tonight and asparagus. I just fried two eggs and the way I make my eggs is I spray the pan with some avocado oil and then I crack the eggs right on here and I cook them on really low heat and I put the lid on so then it kind of starts to cook the top of the eggs and you don't have to flip them and then it kind of like makes it look perfect. And I also made some turkey bacon, which I've been buying this one at Costco. It's the Columbus brand, and it is so bomb. It's way cheaper, so if you have a Costco membership, then you definitely should try it. I know I show this meal all the time, but it's truly one of my favorites. I have some work stuff that I need to finish and send to my manager right now, so I'm going to eat this while I do that. But it looks so yummy. I've been working for quite a few hours. It's actually... 419 right now so it's a bit later in the day but I have a very exciting package that I wanted to open and show you guys I actually ordered this for myself and I treated myself to the hatch alarm clock which I am so freaking excited I've wanted this really badly and since I've been waking up at 5 a.m. I feel like I deserve it so I'm gonna try it out well I want to try it tonight so that I can wake up tomorrow and see how it is but it says that it helps you build a personal bedtime routine with sleep sounds a reading light and a sunrise alarm to help you fall asleep stay asleep and wake up gently I think this is going to be so good for me and I really like the fact that it has sleep sounds because Brandon has like sounds at his house at night and I love that. Here it is. I really like it and they actually did come out with the Restore 2 which is the newer version of this hatch alarm. I saw Sydney Adams post it on TikTok and it is definitely cuter. It's more aesthetic. It's like tan and then I think they do have another color. But it's on pre-order right now, so you can't actually get it yet. And the only other thing is that it's more expensive. I'm pretty sure it's like 20 or not 20 $70 more. So I just figured I would get the original because I don't really mind. It says right on here that you tap at bedtime to begin your personal sleep routine. So I'm going to wait till later to get it set up. finished dinner I made salmon and I actually seasoned it with a really good seasoning if you guys haven't seen my other vlogs I got this on Amazon it's the flavor God lemon and garlic seasoning and there's just like so many good spices in it so I love putting this one on my like salmon or my chicken and I also squeeze lemon juice over all of this just to add a little bit of flavoring and then I sauteed some asparagus and made some white rice. But 
super yummy, simple, like healthy dinner. I'm a little sad because I finished watching Emily in Paris season three over the weekend. I binged quite a few episodes of it just because I had time. I was relaxing and not really doing a lot, which was so nice to just hang out and watch it. But at the same time, I was bummed that I finished the season because I, well, I have like a love-hate relationship with shows ending. I'm like proud of myself when I finish it but I'm also sad because I like get so like connected to the characters and just like makes me want it to not end. Now I need to watch something else but I think that I'm going to start the new season of Ginny and Georgia. I watched that gosh it was so long ago it was when Lauren and I stayed at my mom's apartment in Arizona. Do you guys remember that? It was like over a year and a half ago it was like yeah almost uh, two years ago i think Ginny and georgia is let's see oh. but i'm just gonna eat and watch the show i eat like a lot of the same meals but i just do kind of like different variations of them and that's always the easiest for me to like consistently eat healthy than trying to think of extravagant meals and cooking it and finding this like long recipe so i do like just doing simple things like last week i did salmon with brown rice pasta and broccolini and then today i just did rice and asparagus so it's like kind of the same thing but not exactly and that just is what like works the best for me. I thought the first season was, oh whoops, pretty cute, but it's only 10 episodes. So that's not that hard to get through. It says that it's number two in the US today. I'm just getting ready for bed. It's like almost eight and I'm so tired. So I'm gonna wash my face and then get ready to lay down. I can't wait to set up my hatch alarm i want to go to bed so i can wake up and try it out in the morning but i watched an episode of Ginny and georgia and then i just quickly cleaned the kitchen it wasn't too hard to clean up actually tonight because i used the air fryer only on one side and then it was like one pan because i had already um made the rice so i just had to heat that up but it was a yummy dinner and it was nice to just relax and watch a show but it also feels good to like have my apartment all clean and to finally be unwinding so i can go to bed i've shown you guys like everything that i've eaten today and i'm just gonna have one more snack so i want to show you guys this too i also had dried mangoes earlier but I didn't vlog that. I ate some of these ones, which are the Costco organic dried mangoes. I get the ones that are like completely plain. They're unsweetened and unsulfured. They are so good. I've almost had like the whole bag. So I'm just gonna do cereal now with some fruit. This is the Lovebird cereal and it's the um, cinnamon O. I really like this one or the cacao one it's like chocolatey the honey one i like too but that's definitely like my third favorite cereal that they have i added the milk chocolate milk that i bought this is the new one and it has only five ingredients there's filtered water organic almonds organic coconut sugar organic dutch processed cacao and himalayan pink salt but I bought it to put with cereal because I thought it would be such a good combo. And I haven't tried it yet, so I want to see how it is. Oh my god. This is fire. I actually can't get over how good that chocolate milk is. It tastes like not too sugary, but still like you get that chocolateness. I don't know. I don't know what they did there, but... <laughs> They killed it. So I'm just filling up my water. Oh, whoops. Need to bring my water and then get my journal and go lay in bed. I try to drink like three of these a day. And also I learned that the handle can go left can go for left-handed and right-handed people 
and I like kept putting it on and could not figure out why like the straw was like the wrong way and I actually got a comment of someone teaching me what to do I learned that you're supposed to start it at like 3 o'clock and then start spinning it so that the straw is like faced toward the Stanley logo it's a little bit confusing for me still but I'm getting the hang of it so these are all the sunrises you can choose from there's the spring sunrise which is like red and white then there's the Conjuring Fiji, which is like multicolored, the Malibu Sunrise, the Portland Lighthouse, and the Morning in Prague. I'm kind of leaning towards the Malibu Sunrise. Let's try that one out. I'm now just going to write in my journal and plan out my day for a little bit. But I'm so excited to wake up in the morning and see how I like the hatch alarm and if I like get up on my first alarm because that's something that is always a problem for me. Like I hit snooze at least five times. I'm gonna go to bed so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'll fill you in on the next video if I like the hatch alarm and my thoughts and stuff. But I'm closing it out here. I love you all so much. I hope it was just fun for you guys to see and obviously with the what I eat in a day I did show you guys everything that I ate but I don't want it to be for like comparison or anything like that. I'm just showing you guys to give you some meal ideas and like what healthy foods I like. But I love you all. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe and put on my post notifications if you haven't yet. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Good night.